Metro Water Services uses microorganisms to clean water at our wastewater treatment plants. The microorganisms eat the nutrients in the dirty water. Some of the microorganisms have to be removed, along with the undissolved solids and kitchen grease. Before 2009, 20 truckloads of this nutrient-rich material and some water were landfilled each day. Today, Metro Water Services Biosolids Facility uses microbes and high temperatures to reclaim the nutrients. We make an organically rich, slow-release fertilizer that is safe for farmers and home gardeners to use. At the same time, we are reclaiming the water and returning it to the central wastewater treatment plant across the street. The water is cleaned and returned to the Cumberland River. The entire sustainable process takes about 15 days. White's Creek and Central Wastewater Treatment Plants pump their extra microorganisms and other materials through pipes to the biosolids facility. At this point, the mixture looks like muddy water. The mixture goes into a tank for processing. We add air bubbles to float the solid material to the top of the tank. We add food grade polymer to help the solids stick together. Rakes pull the solid material out of the water. The material now resembles a blended milkshake. The water we removed is sent across the street where it will be cleaned and sent to the river. The material is pumped into the digesters. The digesters are like stomachs. Microbes digest the material. The digesters are kept at a constant 95 degrees Fahrenheit to keep the microbes active. Like any stomach, the digesters create gas. This gas is 60% methane. We store the methane gas and use it to run the equipment in the plant. We power our boilers using the methane gas. We use the hot water to keep the material in the digester at 95 degrees. After 15 days, water and microbes that have eaten the nutrient-rich materials leave the digesters. We add polymer and place the mixture into a centrifuge to remove the water. The water is cleaned and returned to the river. The material that comes out of the centrifuge resembles wet cake and has very little odor. We mix the wet cake with fertilizer pellets recycled from a previous day's work. This is like mixing the right amount of flour into a cake to get it to the right consistency for baking. This mixture goes into a dryer. We use the methane gas from the digesters to heat the dryers. The dryer heats the mixture to over 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. As the wet cake makes its way through the dryer, the moisture evaporates and the wet cake sticks to the small pellets. We sift the pellets to separate them by size. Most of the pellets are the right size to fit the spreading equipment farmers use. Pellets that are too large are crushed and mixed with pellets that are too small. These pellets are recycled, mixed with the wet cake that goes into the dryer to make more pellets. The final pellets are nutrient-rich fertilizer. Farmers and home gardeners use the fertilizer to improve soil and feed plants. Finally, Air from the dryer is heated to 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. This process destroys any odor before the air is released. Metro Water Services produces Class A biosolids that meet all federal and state regulations. We are reclaiming water and nutrients and getting them into the river and the soil where they belong. The EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, requires Class A biosolids to be heated to at least 180 degrees for at least 30 minutes. Because of the amount of time spent at a high heat, the pellets have no detectable pathogens when they come out of the dryer. The pellets are cleaner than a regular person's hand and have an odor similar to garden soil. With this facility, Metro Water Services is making Nashville and Davidson County more sustainable. You can learn more about Metro Water Services on our website.